Not only is Memorial Day the unofficial start of summer, it's also the unofficial start of planting season in New England. Boy, is it I just put in my garden today. Garden centers everywhere say they can't keep vegetable plants in stock. With so many of us now at home, a big trend nationally and here in the area is growing your own produce. Beth Ward made a trip to Randall's in Ludlow for a lesson on how to get started. On this beautiful day, Randall's farm in Ludlow is slammed. People are anxious to plant flowers, but more than ever, whether it's tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, or cabbage, anything labeled vegetables or herbs are in high demand. We're seeing a lot of first-time gardeners and a lot of gardeners that are doing bigger projects than they've done before because they have the time to do them now. Karen Randall tells Western Mass News veggie seeds are scarce. We've sold through most of all of our garden seeds that we typically would last us at least till the end of May. Not just here, but across Western Mass, Karen says vegetable plants of all varieties are hard to cut come by. Many are sold out thanks to eager gardeners this year. Lettuce and cabbage, uh, those kind of things, cauliflower, broccoli. You almost cannot find the plants now. We're waiting for new crop to get big enough to sell. Once you do find your plants, whether you're doing patio pots or a full-fledged garden, the first step is location, location, location. Vegetable plants need six hours of sun. So if you're choosing a location either for your garden, your new vegetable garden, or for containers of vegetables, you have to make sure you have at least six hours of sun. Good soil, good vegetable approved fertilizer is critical. Karen says it's not too late for some seeds to get going if you can find them. There are some things that you want to start from seed and you might not be able to find them at this point. Like radishes are great from seed, pumpkins, and some lettuces, especially now as it's warming up, they'll germinate quickly and grow. And less is more, one, maybe two plants per pot. How much do we want to put in here? Do We don't want to crowd it too much. Right? She suggests planting in clusters called a hill. This is what we call a hill. A farmer will call it a hill. In your garden, you want to plant a hole and plant all the soil in the pot together and not bury these plants. So get outside, get your hands dirty, and get planting. Looking at the weather, it's a beautiful forecast, so it's perfect time to plant. And because we can't do a lot of other things, it's a great project to do, and you know, gardening is so rewarding. Beth Ward, Western Mass News.